see what's your reaction to that? Well, obviously, what a disappointment, to be honest, you know. Um, we didn't we didn't perform anywhere like I know we can. Um, admittedly, we were playing a team that's in form, but we've done that before. We've played against teams before that have been in form and had good results against them. So, yeah, today was, today was disappointing for me. Today, I thought that we definitely didn't show enough today. Uh, some of the mistakes that we've made, a couple of injuries early, and, and sort of rocked us a little bit in the game. I think that didn't help, but... We weren't really in any sort of rhythm before that either. So, yeah, it was a disappointing day today. But, um, you know, we, we've had those before and we've got to try and deal with them um, because obviously the games are the games are running out. But uh, I think it's very much, very much a confidence thing in this league when teams all of a sudden get a win, they can quite often go and get another one. But, but also if you've, if you've had a defeat, you know, you can easily roll into another one, and I, I just thought that that looked the difference in the teams today. They looked confident today. You know, maybe if we'd have played them, I don't know, six or seven games ago, it might have been a it might have been a different game. But they look like, you know, they're on a crest of a wave, um, and we basically don't. It's a shame because the first half, I thought you were quite well organised. The shape was good, yeah, and ultimately Tony Charles has been doing the job. We'll always be organised. They'll always be organised. It's it's about doing the other things that makes you win a game. That that's that's the over and beyond bit that we feel as though today was missing, you know. And uh, yeah, for me, we'll be organised. We'll be organised. Even when we make the changes, we have to make the changes. But when the changes are made. We make mistakes in those changes because those team, those players haven't necessarily been in the team enough. So, you know, that's a couple of injuries affected us a little bit today. I feel, and um, you know, you can only ask players if they're okay before you take them off. And what happens is they want to, they want to say they're okay, but really, you know, they certainly didn't look like it in a couple of occasions. Jordan Moore Taylor's incident, he obviously had to be forced off because his butt his face. Yeah. That's the game of yellow. Do you think it could have been more? Um, I need to look back at it. I haven't I haven't seen it. I do need to look back at that one. I know that he's you know his face is in a bit of a mess. Um, so I need I need to look back at that incident. I haven't had time to look back at that incident before I've come out and spoken to yourselves. So I do need to look at that. Um, but he has got a he has got a nasty cut on his on his cheek. There's always areas I know leading up to any goal, but there were any complaints of the first how much space the player had? Um Yeah. Yeah, I do have. I don't I don't tend to come out and speak about individuals. We we know what we've done wrong on that goal, and we know what we've done wrong on the second goal. Um but that isn't my. Um, I don't. I don't think there's anything to gain. Me coming out here and, and having a go at the lads. I think there's nothing to gain in that. Um, it, it isn't my style. What, what goes on and gets said in the dressing room will always stay in the dressing room. Um, so yeah, um, just disappointed today. Yeah, up front, no shots on target. Fans are in the stats will be disappointed with that. Christian Dodge doesn't seem to have the service today. Well, sometimes what you have to do is you have to make things go for yourself as well. So I think I think that it was um, an off colour performance from quite a few of them today. So um, we can we can always say about service. So sometimes you can you can criticise the surface, and sometimes you can criticise the runs. Um, and I, I felt there was globally things wrong in us today. You know, some were in defence, some were in midfield, and some were up top. And um, yeah, so I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn around here and say that I thought you know we were good today, or we, you know, we didn't, we didn't. We, we looked a different team today, and I don't and I don't quite know why. We trained well this week. There was there was a good mood, you know. After a defeat, it's always tough, but we've had a good week. I I didn't I didn't see that coming today. I didn't see that in us today.
So, you know, I thought we were, we'll, we'll always be organised. That, that, that's, I wouldn't say it's easy to do. We're a team that's conceded as many goals as we have, but we, we are organised. But, but that wasn't anywhere near good enough from, from us today. Unfortunately, the table does have Forest Green bottom in the Oxford game against them. But okay. only still one point on pay from Colchester, so it's still a much better position than we have been yeah. years ago. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't, you know, okay, I mean, I suppose because it is what it is, you know, it can, it can change very quickly. But as I said, what you want to do is try and get into a decent run of form rather than being a, a poor run of form. We, we know we have um, arguably the most difficult run in. Um, we've got to try and break that cycle of we've just lost two games so we've got to try and break that cycle um, and at the end of the day what we'll do is we'll keep working 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 and working there is there is no other way out of it no other way rank it um, but we just have to keep going